I think one of the most joyous parts of my job is bringing people together, bringing teachers and students from all different backgrounds. They all got to ask different questions, they all got to collaborate and talk and mix it up. The National Land Care Program is all about community capacity building. This is one of those events and we've been enabled in a grand way to showcase what's happening at these two schools. Everything you're going to learn about today is about caring for the land. James Tunnell was a special guest today from Armidale Regional Council. We had Mr Mark Fisher, who is NEG's agriculture teacher, Rebecca Smith from Armidale High School. We had Dr Martin Stapper, 40 years experience in soil ecology, is internationally renowned. So he was mostly talking about how do we identify a sick soil and how do we identify a healthy soil. So I'm an agricultural scientist, last 40 years worked in uh, the United States and Syria before coming to Australia, always working in farming systems with farmers to mix my theoretical knowledge with their practical knowledge to make better systems. But why is soil health important? Why is ecosystem functioning, landscape functioning important? Healthy soils we need for nutritious food and healthy people. We connected with farmers that were not using big amounts of fertilizers and chemicals for high yields but we're using more the biology, the power of nature. Microbes are the most important organisms on planet Earth. They're the smallest one on planet Earth, but they're the most important one. We create a healthy soil, which is a soil with worm activity, and like you can dig in, your, in the soil with your hand, because the soil is not compacted. As I look at my audiences, I see all those eyes popping open, and then you think, oh, they make a connection with what they own experienced in the past. It's exciting that people can learn like that. My part of the day was basically talking about a Chilean needle grass project that we've been running here since October last year and we are looking at controlling needle grass uh, using methods other than chemicals. From here, from the bottom to where we are, there's wall-to-wall -wall needle grass where it's been mowed wall-to-wall -wall. and this is what happens when your soils are not travelling very well. So they're biological methods uh, using seaweed, compost, using aeration, but the most important one of all of them is balancing the soil and getting the biology happening, creating the best soil we possibly can so that other species of plants can compete with the needle grass. The students have been taking the data, collecting the data, doing projects and species density. So looking at the Chile needle grass, its diversity or its, its percentage cover. So in the four months since we started the trial, in a number of our trial plots with different treatments, um, we've noticed that the needle grass is in decline and that new species are emerging and even though it's not conclusive evidence, it's, it's going in the direction that we're hoping we will be able to you know, capture by carrying out this trial. Yeah, hi, I'm uh, Dr James Turnell. With respect to uh, this wonderful event today, uh, I look after the City Soil Composting Operation, the food and garden organics collection from the City of Armidale, converted into a high quality compost end product, which uh, we then sell back to our community to avoid waste from landfill. Yeah, I was excited to be invited to come along today uh, for this event, purely because I see uh, the future generations, current school students today, will be the custodians of our land. And I think with a lot of environmental challenges that we have and uh, trying to balance you know, population with uh, food security, we all need to start looking at the way we uh, manage the finite resources we have and that includes our soils. So when we're, doing, when we're talking about composting, we want to create a biological system that is aerobic. So today I tried to keep it very a high level about compost production. I was really trying to encourage schools and individuals just to have a go. You can you know, sometimes in, end up with some, as I said, some funky smells. You'll get there in the end and the next time, I use the analogy like making a cake, the next time you go to do it, um, you'll be better at it. And, uh, and the most important tool when it comes to making good compost is your nose. You don't have to have a green thumb to grow good food. You just need to have good material like that. With respect to some of the questions the students asked, uh, it seems that they uh, are engaged with agricultural systems. Uh, they, are, they, they certainly seem to understand the, the relevance of returning organics to soil um, and, you know, and ultimately using a system like composting to, to, to achieve that goal. I'm Mark Fisher, I'm the agriculture teacher at NEGS in Armidale. 
So today was a fantastic day. My role was just to showcase um, at NEGS our little system where dining hall food, a resource I guess is not necessarily a waste, how it's used in our poultry system and in our pig system and then any food waste that's used in those two systems will then be composted. So really nothing here at NEGS is wasted. Everything is utilised. So much time and effort and money goes into producing food. Unfortunately at the consumer end we're throwing up to a third of what's produced directly in the bin for landfill. The message really is don't throw food in general waste, utilise it, do something with it. It can be a future soil uh, fertiliser or soil improver and it can be utilised in, in animal production if, if done correctly. How do we educate students to actually get involved with this to make it work? So we made a heap of these posters and look, they were just everywhere, plastered in the library, on toilet doors, staircases, through the dining hall, everywhere you went, it was in your face. So people were unconsciously taking this in. So there's some of the posters, that's probably the better one there, I'd say. But, uh... I think it'd just be fantastic if, if every high school in, in this country, or even primary school of course, could just do something similar to what we're doing. It's, it's really simple, it's basic, it's nothing too out there, too amazing, but it's just the whole idea of using food scraps in a sustainable manner, recycling the soil nutrients stored in those for the production of more food. It's so important that our next generation grow up with the tools to be able to ensure that we can continue to produce food into the future and feed our ever-expanding population. So it's your generation now that has to claw the way back, that we get respect for food and that we grow food on healthy soils, that we demand healthy soils with less fertilizers and chemicals. And if we eat that food least processed, that's the best for our health.